Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to solve this given quadratic equation by completing the square. And one thing you can notice is that this quadratic equation has some radicals as well. So let's get started. The very first thing in order to solve this quadratic equation, we want to make sure only x variables must be on the left hand side that means this 5 is going to go on the other side so that is going to become simply x square minus 4 time square root of 3x equals to this positive 5 when you move it on the other side become negative 5. Here's the next step. I want you to look at the coefficient of x which is negative 4 times square root of 3 just look at this part only. Don't worry about the negative sign. So I'm going to write down this 4 square root of 3. Then next step is whatever this quantity always divided by 2. Once you divide it by 2, that's going to give you 2 times square root of 3. And the final step is I want you to simply square this one. So this is the quantity we're going to add on both sides of this equation. Let's go ahead and do that one. So I'm going to write x squared minus 4 times square root of 3x plus equals to negative 5 plus and now I'm going to add this quantity 2 times square root of 3 square on this side and 2 times square root of 3 on this side as well. Now I want you to focus on the left hand side this part that you can see. And now we are going to use this well-known formula to put it in a complete square form. So this could be written as x minus 2 times square root of 3 complete square equals to first of all let me tell you once again that this x showed up right up here this whole quantity is going to be right over here and this negative sign is going to be right up here and you don't worry about this thing we're going to just simply forget about this part let's do the right hand side equals to negative 5 plus this is going to be let's simplify this part this is i'm going to write it over here 2 square root of 3 square could be written as 2 square time square root of 3 square 2 square is 4 and this square and square root undo each other we got 3 4 times 3 is 12 so I can write 12 right up here as you can see so now finally we got x minus 2 square root of 3 square equal to positive 7 now let's take care of this one over here let's undo this square by taking the square root on both sides this square and square root they undo each other they cancel each other out we simply got x minus 2 square root of 3 equal to positive or negative 7 square root see so far so good make sure you put down positive and negative sign so since we want to isolate x i want you to move this negative 2 square or 2 of 3 on the other side so that is going to give us x equals to this become 2 square root of 3 plus or minus square root of 7. So far so good. So the next step is right now let's go ahead and split it up between these positive and negative signs. 
so we can write as x equal to 2 square root of 3 plus square root of 7 and the other solution is going to be x equal to 2 square root of 3 minus square root of 7. So thus our solution set turns out to be a 2 square root of 3 plus square root of 7 and the other solution is 2 times square root of 3 minus square root of 7 and that is our answer. And here is your assignment. Can you do this problem on your own this time? You can pause the video. You can take your time. Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. Please check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.